everyone. Director Doug here, and we have a special guest in studio today. We have Natalie Barton, who plays one of our favorite characters. Welcome, Natalie. Hello, darling. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, I think she gave it away. <laughs> yes, we have Madam Manager here in studio, and we're going to have some questions for her about her private life and what she does when she's not Madam Manager. And uh, Miss Jean and Producer Steve are going to pepper her with questions so we can uh, find out what she's really like. Go ahead, guys. So, Natalie, what do you do on your regular day-to-day? -day? My day-to-day? -day, um, I am a dental hygienist. And I also, I don't know, I do all kinds of stuff. Uh, dental hygienist, so I clean teeth, take x-rays, do that kind of stuff in a dental office. And then I do uh, damsel in defense. So I, ta I teach safety classes and teach people how to protect themselves and their families. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so don't cross Madam Manager. No. That's right. <laughs> right. That's right. <laughs> Dangerous. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> um, so Madam Manager is kind of a very interesting character. Definitely, whenever we go to conventions, mm -hmm. she really is a fan favorite. The kids <laughs> yes. always ask about her and a handful of others, but they always ask about her. So tell us, Natalie, how you and uh, this character are different from each other and how maybe in certain ways you're similar. Can I answer that? Uh, no, this <laughs> interview is actually about me. Not everything's about you, Jeanette. <laughs> oh, you're so mean to me. Uh, so she well, she's not mentally stable. <laughs> <laughs> so um, Jeanette and I both like hats, I guess. We, there's something we do have in common. Every time I go anywhere that's got hats, I'm, I'm looking for hats. I'm really bummed that women don't wear hats anymore. Mm -hmm. And, you know, unless you're going to the horse races or unless you're going to a royal wedding, there really is no hat wearing anymore. That's too bad. So I have a closet full that I don't actually wear. <laughs> like, why are you buying another hat? Like, because they're amazing. But... <laughs> and Madam Manager is never without her hat. She's never no. without her hat. So, well, yes, and if you check okay. some behind-the-scenes videos, Natalie is never without her her hat when she's playing uh, Madam Manager. That's so, right. Yeah. Including oh, right now. And including right now right she now. has it on in studio. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> it does help with the accent. Yeah. Uh, so let's see what else do I have in common. Um, well, I love dogs and Jeanette likes her canines, finally. You know, she didn't, she didn't like the, the dog at first. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but she's kind of grown to like them, so that's good. Um, and I'm hoping we don't have a whole lot else in common. I guess we both sing in choir because she was in choir in that one season. Uh, sings well, with right. George, and I yeah, actually sing right. with George in real life. So that's, that's right. That's fun. I was at the mm -hmm. I, actually I was at the choir that we recorded the choir music for, yep. and you were there. Yep. Yeah, I even asked if I could sing as Madam Manager, and you were like, "No." <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't imagine what that would sound like. A little off pitch. <laughs> <laughs> so, Love it. Um, and then yeah, I mean, she she came on as kind of an evil character uh, initially, mm -hmm. and which was super fun to play. Mm -hmm. But I, I hope I'm not like that in real life. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely no. not. Uh, Definitely no, not. I wouldn't say you're evil. No. 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 <laughs> well, I remember, Natalie, when I when I first talked to you about playing Madam Manager, because, and I, I said to you, you know, she's kind of the bad guy of the story, and I was making sure you were okay with it, and you wrote back, yes, I am. Mean, <laughs> the letters <laughs> perfect. Yes. Sign me up. <laughs> yeah, and I thought, oh, we've cast the perfect person. <laughs> I said, they have the most fun. And Absolutely. And producer Steve can, you know. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, just, definitely. They're so much more fun to play. They're so much more interesting. So, yeah, I was, I was really excited. <laughs> And she goes, I'm going to be the villain. I told all of my patients for the next, like, month, I get to be the villain in a kid's program. And they're like, you're so weird. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. <laughs> so uh, on, on the next question, hopefully it's not uh, a similar answer as what most people give, but um, what's your favorite food? Oh. What is the most common answer? Pizza. Pizza. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, you can't go wrong with pizza. No, you no, can't. It is good. Yeah. <laughs> so for me, um, I had to think about that one. So for me, I love mangoes. That's my favorite fruit. Mm -hmm. And uh, but in general, like I mean, Italian is good. Every, everything is good. I like I like just about everything. But Middle Eastern food, because that's oh. my heritage, mm -hmm. is just incredible to me. When my family can get together and we can spend a few hours cooking mid Middle Eastern food and eating that together, that is that is my absolute favorite. Awesome. Mm, yes. Nice. I would agree. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Well, here's another one that might be tough. What is your favorite Bible verse? Oh, dear. So this one I thought about, and I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't have a 
particular Bible verse that I like. Okay. Because to me, I think in stories and I learn in stories. Mm. So for me, working on Discovery Mountain is um, just you know, right up my alley because I'm already doing that in my head almost the time. <laughs> um, so for me, his favorite stories are like Esther, um, David, jo- Joseph, um, the uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the mm-hmm. Fiery Furnace yeah. is mm-hmm. definitely one of my favorites. And that one, I think, applies to kind of what we're possibly getting ready to go through in real life. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, a lot of Christians actually are dealing with persecution around the world. And eventually, you know, the Bible says it'll come here to America, too. So mm-hmm. it's one of those mm-hmm. where it's like, I want their faith where they can look the king in the face and say, you know what? doesn't mm-hmm. matter. Our God's with us. And he literally was. He was standing in the fire with them. And that's right. yeah. so cool to me. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. So that story. And then my probably ultimate favorite from the time I was a kid is Noah's Ark. And mm-hmm. I still, oh, really? still love Noah's Ark. And now um, one of my hobbies is travel and looking at the planet from that mm-hmm. altitude and then trying to imagine it pre and post flood mm-hmm. is one of my pastimes. Okay. <laughs> but, but I've always found that really interesting. Mm-hmm. And, you know, fossils on the mountains and just trying to imagine what it was like and how much of the world was truly decimated by that and what it was like to get off the boat and to see your entire planet changed, you know. Mm-hmm. Just, oh, yeah. I don't know. I've always found that story just super interesting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And and all the different, you know, fossil records and that kind of stuff. So, yeah. yeah. And this, and you're right. The stories are what stay with you, you mm-hmm. know. And so the mm-hmm. scriptures then stay with you because of the story. Right. Oftentimes, yeah. 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 Sometimes Thanks it's hard sharing. to maybe remember a specific verse, mm-hmm. but you can certainly remember a story, mm-hmm. right? Right. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. and the lessons that it contained. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh which yeah. Is, which is what we're doing here. Which is what we're doing. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Mountain, yeah. exactly. <laughs> so when you were a kid, what did you see yourself doing when you grew up? Oh, goodness. Everything. Um, (laughs) Initially, I wanted to be a veterinarian. And as I grew up, I mean, I went through everything from being a spy to a police officer to uh, an archaeologist, which I still kind of want to do, to... A lawyer for a while. I was going to join the military. I wanted to be a pilot. Like, wow. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Just about, just about everything. everything. <laughs> just about everything. Uh, so I ended up in dental hygiene, which is kind of random. Uh, it was not something I ever considered. Uh, but, yeah, I just know I, I, I have tons of interests and I'm always picking up new hobbies. Mm-hmm. So for me, yeah, it was, it's hard to pick. Even now, it's kind of like I feel like I'm going through my midlife crisis. I'm like, do I want to <laughs> stick with dental hygiene? Do I want to do something different? So, so, who knows? Well, can you imagine Madam Manager as a spy? Ooh. I could. <laughs> there might be a story yes, in there. Yes, That could right? be fun. <laughs> that could be fun. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Future season. season. Season 16. Here we go. Season 16. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Natalie and I are connecting eyes here because uh, you also have written s- several of the episodes that contain Madam Manager. Mm-hmm. And what I love when you do that is you know her so well. That's right. <laughs> And um, you're able to create her dialogue just so authentically, and well, it just you. comes across awesome. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, she's super fun to play. The first time I read her, I heard her in my head, and there was just no other way I could do it. And I came into the studio, and I That's asked right. you, Doug, if I could use this <laughs> accent on her. And you were like, well, I don't know. <laughs> that is my, a Doug my big, answer. <laughs> my, my biggest concern was, can you maintain the accent, or right, are you going right. to lose it? And, and she maintains it. Yeah. So it works wonderfully well. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It works great. <laughs> Well, you already mentioned that you like dogs. So Mm -hmm. tell us, do you have pets? I do. Growing up, I had tons of pets. But Mm -hmm. right now, I have a dog. His name is Tucker. Mm -hmm. And he's, you're going to have to excuse my French, but he's a coton de tulier. (laughs) And I probably butchered that. But he's a native of, well, he's not, but his breed is a native of Madagascar. They're small dogs. They're cousins with like the Bichon and the Maltese. Mm -hmm. And my husband has severe dog allergies. So I had to find something he wasn't allergic to. So I looked high and low. And there's like, what, 400 dog breeds in the world. And I went through, I think, all of them to try and find something he wasn't allergic mm-hmm. to. Yeah. <laughs> and we've had Tucker for four years now, and he's just adorable. He's, he's, he's my buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Cute. So what do you do, or what do you like to do when you have free time? <laughs> what do I not do when I have free time? Um, hobbies include arts and crafts, um, writing for you guys, writing for myself. I do photography, travel, archery, working with kids. Um, teaching honors with the Pathfinders. I don't know. Like, I, I do all kinds of dog stuff, kids stuff. I've got nieces and nephews. Um, 
yeah, I don't know, everything I can come up with. I just took a pyrotechnics last summer as a hobby. Oh, wow. Uh, so professional fireworks shows now, oh. I get to help out with that. <laughs> so I know the kids aren't going to know what pyrotechnics is, but yes, I help with professional fireworks. fireworks. So, wow. You know, Madam Manager likes her explosives. Apparently so do I. There's yeah. something else we have in common. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> well, our next Discovery Mountain picnic, we can have a uh, fireworks display. Oh, yes. Yeah. 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 Jeanette's there out there lighting it. She's like, oh, yes. Oh, Boom. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mickey. <laughs> I blew up your hotel. <laughs> no, no, no. No. no, that's her, her baby. That's her baby. Oh, that one. No. <laughs> e and ha. You're right. Yes. <laughs> so imagining Discovery Mountain were real, where would you like to visit? <sighs> um, so I know everybody says Blue Birdie, right? They all want to fly Blue Birdie. Mm-hmm. I have flown a Cessna. I've actually been a pilot of a Cessna for a couple hours. And that was amazing. That was probably the coolest thing I've ever done in my life. Uh, but I would be af- too afraid Jake would take me up. So. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, don't blame you. <laughs> I think I'd probably do the Hadassah Observatory because I really like planets and stars and studying mm, God's creation beautiful. that way. Mm-hmm. And just to spend a few hours looking through that would be really cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that would be amazing. I just try and visualize what it would be like if that were a real place. And I think that would be one of my first places I would stop to. Or the tree house. Because I've never been in like a legit tree house. Oh, really? Oh. Oh. And so that would be fun too. That would be fun yeah. too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, Natalie, it's always a joy to have you in studio mm-hmm. here with Hat. Madam yeah. Manager is with yes. us. <laughs> oh, yes. Thank you, darling. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you for sharing your talents with us, not only behind the mic, but in writing. And, and um, I hope that you listening at home have enjoyed getting to know Natalie just a little bit better. <laughs> So thanks for joining us for this mini adventure and stay with us. Uh, Visit us on our website where you can find out about upcoming seasons and listen to new weekly mini adventures. Um, So thanks for listening. We'll see you next time. Toodaloo.